an echo investigation which revealed that eight Liverpool city councillors were given court summons for the late or non-payment of council tax has prompted calls for a change in the system. Earlier this year our investigation used freedom of information laws to name the eight elected city councillors who have received court summons in the past five financial years for either the non-payment or late payment of council tax. Each of the seven Labour councillors and one Liberal councillor provided different explanations for why they had missed council tax payments, but several have still not answered key questions about whether they voted on council budget matters while they were in council tax arrears which is not allowed by law. Now our investigation has prompted calls for a change in how Liverpool city councillors pay their council tax in a bid to avoid such situations happening in future. Liberal Democrat councillors Myrna Juarez and Andrew Mackinson have submitted a motion to Wednesday's full council meeting on the matter. The motion states council notes with concern the recent media coverage in respect of none or late payment of council tax by councillors. Whilst recognizing that councillors have the same problems as any other citizen of the city we have a duty to set a good example to all taxpayers to pay council tax on time. Revealed the eight city councillors handed court summons for non-payment of council tax the motion then asks members to agree that the authority should undertake to continue to offer the opportunity to all councillors to voluntarily agree the deduction of council tax at source from their councillors' allowances to ensure that such problems are not repeated. Currently, city councillors like all Liverpool residents will arrange to pay their council tax themselves, be it in monthly or annual installments. What the motion suggests is that the amount due for tax is actually taken directly from the allowances that are paid to elected members in their council roles. A council tax bill. Image Joe Gadens wire however, the motion has not been approved for debate at Wednesday's full council meeting, and so members will not have a chance to publicly discuss the idea. It will instead be dealt with by the council using its standing orders procedures for considering the rules of the authority 